It's very important for teachers to prioritize and commit to taking care of their mental health and well-being, which helps one to have more positive energy for themselves, their students, and their families. We will discuss several tips on how one can do this. Welcome to episode 123 of the Teacher Rockstar podcast, a place where tips and strategies critical to the new teacher are discussed. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, and in today's episode, we will be talking about mental health and well-being tips for teachers. But before we do, here is a quick word from our sponsor. Would you like to supercharge your classroom management skills? Well, if you're a teacher with zero to five years of teaching experience, a student teacher, or perhaps you're a teacher returning back to the classroom after an extended absence, the Teacher Rockstar Academy course is for you. Gain the confidence, the skills you'll need to crush it on day one and beyond. Take advantage of one-to-one personal coaching one year of email support, an invite to our Facebook community group, and super cool bonuses. Enroll now at tra.teacherclassroomresources.com. That's tra.teacherclassroomresources.com. So invest in yourself. Enroll today. All right, let's dive right in. The first thing I want to share is set some time aside to unwind. To help lift your mood and relieve your stress, whether it's gardening, reading a book, going for a walk, working out at the gym, or just talking to a friend. The key here is to take time out just to relax. The second thing I want to share with you is planning ahead. Don't wait until the last minute or so to have a plan of action. It will be helpful for you to develop a list of all your tasks and activities that you want to accomplish for the day or week in advance. Some helpful advice would be to have a day planner or a notebook to plan out your week. Start out by setting small goals and, of course, take needed breaks. Now, this will help you plan out your time better and alleviate the stress of having so many unplanned things to do. The next thing I want to address is set boundaries. Now, this is a very important key thing here. It really doesn't matter if you're teaching online or in the classroom. Okay? Uh, You're still attending... Uh, to students needs throughout the day. What is very important here is to set aside some me time to be with family, friends, or whatever it is that you enjoy doing. One surefire way to do this is to set boundaries, but also pay attention to how you are feeling during your daily activities and just listening to your body when something is just not working. Have a period of time dedicated to preparing for your teaching and a time that you are not. One thing that I found very helpful was to make sure that you let students and their parents or caregivers know the best time in which to contact you. Establish and make sure you stick to it a window of time before going to bed that is tech-free, that is not checking emails and messages. You might also want to consider setting reminders to help uh, remember your boundaries. If by chance there are folks not respecting your boundaries, think of ways that you can respectfully have a conversation with them. Explain to them how important that it is in protecting one's mental health. The next tip would be adjust your expectations. Now, you can only control certain things that go on in your classroom. So don't stress over circumstances that you don't have any control over. Okay? Uh, You are just one single teacher and doing your best to adapt to a changing environment. Uh, Moving on to the next tip, acquire new skills and appreciate the ones you already have. You know acquiring and mastering new skills will invariably help you in your professional journey and will provide you with greater confidence as you move forward. You know, you could uh, sign up for professional development, online courses, webinars, etc. to enhance your teaching methods. Don't forget to appreciate the skills that you already have. And the next thing I want to talk about is be kind to yourself. Okay. Um, If at any time you are feeling overwhelmed or stressed, share your feelings with a fellow teacher, friend, or your family. I would also encourage you to talk with your administrator and share how you are feeling with them. Consider this. Maintaining a healthy mental state will have a positive influence on the students in your classroom. The next tip, move your body. Now, I can't say this enough. Regular exercise has proven to be powerful when warding off stress and anxiety. You will feel more energetic during the day. 
sleep better at night, you'll feel more relaxed and positive about yourself. Even a 10-minute brisk walk will improve your mood. If you can't hit the gym daily, at least go for a walk or play with your children. The next and final tip is seek mental health support if needed. It's very important to take care of your mental health and well-being and seek mental health support if needed. Mental health problems that need specialized mental health attention include fatigue, sleep problems, rapid heart rate and breathing, changes in appetite and weight loss, digestive problems that do not get better. If left untreated, these symptoms will prevent you from having a joyful and active life. Recognizing the signs and seeking medical or psychological support is the first step in helping one feel better and preventing other serious medical conditions. Well, my friend, we have come to the end of today's episode. I want to thank you for listening to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, and I hope you got a golden nugget or two from the information presented. Please shoot me an email if you have any questions about the episode. Also, let me know if there is a specific topic that you would like for me to address on the show. It's as simple as sending me an email. I'd love hearing from you. When you get a moment, visit my new and improved blog and subscribe to my newsletter for the latest educational research, best practices, and unadvertised free bonuses. Go to blog.teacherclassroomresources.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us at the Teacher Rockstar Podcast, and we'll send you a free gift just for doing so. And if you'd like to support us, please feel free to share our podcast with others. Post about it on social media. Leave a rating and review. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. We'll see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this.